To start your Jim Dine heart painting, you're going to take a large square sheet of paper and you're going to fold it in half, lining up the corners, trap the corner on one side and then the other, and walk your fingers into the middle, make a T, slide it down, I'm going to move my hand to hold the paper and then I'm going to crease it. Then I'm going to open it up. It's kind of hard to bend the paper because of that first fold, so you sometimes have to support it as you bend it like that. And then I'm going to match this corner up, I'm going to trap it under my finger, I'm going to match this corner, and then I sort of walk my finger to the middle, getting my, making that T with my hands, creasing it in the middle, I'm going to move my hand to hold the paper, and side to side. There we go. Then you're going to take your heart tracer, and with a pencil, I'm just going to guess where the middle is, and I'm going to draw a heart. In each of the four squares. Now the fun part. I get to design my hearts any way I want. Start by painting the background. And it doesn't, you've got all these different colors. When you dip in, I always wash my brush and then dry it first, just in case somebody forgot to, to clean it out very well. And then you can begin painting. And you can paint it however you like, changing colors wherever you want. But I'm going to try to make it look like four squares with the heart. And then I'm going to change colors. Remember to dry, wash and dry your brush before you dip into a new color. And if your colors blend, that's okay. You can be as creative. Whoops, if that ever happens, let me know and I'll glue that back on. I'll just hold that. Maybe I'll add some more colors. However you like to do it. I think I'll make this with all cool colors in the background and then I'll put warm colors for the heart. And your colors can mix right on the, the paper. Do it however you want. Be creative. When you get up to the edge of the heart, then I'm just going to be real careful because I want to make that heart shape stand out. Now that I've got all my heart backgrounds colored in, or painted in, I can do the, the hearts themselves. It's really important to have all the edges, the white parts around the part, filled in. So be sure to get every little white speck that you can. And don't worry about matching the colors. Just put another little blob of color. It'll make it look more exciting. Now I'm going to try to make a, the heart a different color than what's in the background. So I'm not, I used all warm colors here. I've used reds and oranges and yellows. So I'm not going to use any of those colors so that my heart will stand out. So I think I'll start with some green and some turquoise. And I'm going to first just outline the heart very carefully using a, a medium to small brush. And I'm just going around the edge because I want this to have a nice shape to it. Even though I've smudged and smeared the paint, I still want to do a neat job. Now I can fill it in and I can be a little bit more aggressive with the different colors that I add. And I don't want to make it just one color. I want to do it so that it 
really is expressive and exciting. One of the things that Jim Dine did too with his hearts is up toward the top he used darker colors and off to one side. So I'm going to try to do that to make mine look a little bit more three-dimensional. So I'm going to use the darker blue up at the top and then maybe just down the side here a little bit. And then I'm going to try to use some lighter blue, which is that turquoise blue on the inside right there. And that almost looks like a shadow. And then I'm going to do that for all three of my hearts, trying to make it so that it really stands out against the background. The very last thing I'm going to do, once I've got all my hearts painted, is I'm going to take some glue that's, that has some black paint in it. So this will outline those hearts with a nice ridge. It'll stand up a little bit. So I'm going to start by just drawing that black line all the way around my heart, starting at the peak of the heart, that little indentation, and just drawing that. And that'll really make them stand out nice. And now my heart picture is done.